Naamini ushakutana na watu wengi sana ambao wanazungumza kuhusiana na kansa ya matiti. Yes. Kansa ni ugonjwa hatari sana na unatakiwa uhai mapema sana kuanza dawa, eh, kuanza kutibiwa. Eh, na nami nimeshakutana na wagonjwa wa namna hiyo. Sasa kuna huyu mtangazaji maarufu sana wa CNN anaitwa Sarah Sidna. Yeye pia aliweka wazi uh, wakati uh, akiwa akiwa kwenye matangazo ya moja kwa moja, aliweka wazi kwamba amepatikana na saratani ya matiti na iko kwenye hatua ya tatu. Sasa imagine ametoka kwenye hatua ya kwanza, ajui hatua ya pili mpaka amefikia hatua ya tatu na ametuma ujumbe akitaka wanawake wote eh, kwenda kufanya uh, tunasemaga vipimo kwa ajili ya kujua hiyo kama aishapata saratani ya matiti au la ile aanze aanze matibabu mapema nasema wafanye wafanye hiyo hiyo vipimo kila mwaka eh, kwa ajili ya kufuatilia kama wana hizo hiyo sa, saratani ya matiti ya mwenye anasema havuti sigara hanyu pombe yani, yani alikuwa hajui so kama kuna wanawake nane huenda kuna mmoja au kuna mmoja anao au au ameambukizwa yani hivyo yani kuna kuna uwezekano katika wanawake nane mmoja akawa na ugonjwa huo wa saratani ya matiti so make sure t- sisi wanawake sasa to make sure tunaenda kufanya vipimo kwa sababu uh, ni hatari sana kama unayo alafu usijue soso that's bad make sure una, una, unafanya vipimo kila mwaka kwa ajili ya saratani ya matiti. Pole sana kwa Sara Sidna lakini pia uh, sisi wengine tuchukue tahadhari mapema kwa ajili ya kwenda kucheki afya zetu. Am I right? Yeah. As we end our broadcast today, I have a personal note that I would like to share with you. Um, I want to start by doing this and asking you a big favor. Just take a second to recall the names of eight women who you love and know in your life. Just eight count them on your fingers. Statistically, one of them will get or have breast cancer. I am that one in eight in my friend group. I have never been sick a day of my life. I don't smoke, I rarely drink. Breast cancer does not run in my family, and yet here I am with stage 3 breast cancer. It is hard to say out loud. I am in my second month of chemo treatments and will do radiation and a double mastectomy. Stage 3 is not a death sentence anymore for the vast majority of women. But here is the reality that really shocked my system when I started to research more about breast cancer, something I never knew before this diagnosis. If you happen to be a black woman, you are 41% more likely to die from breast cancer than your white counterparts. 41 So to all my sisters, black and white and brown out there, please for the love of God, get your mammograms every single year. Do your self-exams 